Hey everyone, it's Catherine here, and today Disney announced some more information regarding the Galactic Star Cruiser that is opening up next year. So they have kind of given out a sample itinerary, and they've also updated the pricing. So I want to start with the pricing, and this is the website that I will link down below so you can have it. And when you go to the website, you want to go to this one to start planning. And that's going to give you this page where we're going to see the pricing. So we will take a look at this simple, sample itinerary next. Uh, but let's start off with what's included in your fare. So you get a two-night stay in a cabin or a suite. Ongoing immersive and interactive entertainment where choices determine your experience. You get food and beverage on the Star Cruiser, which we'll go into a little more depth in, in a few minutes, and a quick service meal at Docking Bay 7 or other select locations at Hollywood Studios. Basically, they're going to give you a voucher when you go to Hollywood Studios on day two. You get admission to Hollywood Studios, <coughs> excuse me, valet parking, and you get an exclusive magic band. Now, some of the things that they ask that you consider when you start planning for this is what dates are you planning on going? The pricing seems to be changing based on, you know, when you want to go. And also availability may be limited. They only have 100 rooms and each night, you know, there's only going to be so much availability for the different room types as well. How many people are in your party? That will also dictate what room you will want to get. Do you prefer a first or second di dinner seating? So think of this like a cruise ship where you have to pick what time you want to have dinner. Are you interested in any additional activities? That's a really vague question. I don't know if that means in regards to, you know, Disney property in general or on, you know, these, these two nights. And also, would you like to stay at a Disney resort before or after your voyage? So here are the cabins that you can choose from. The first is going to be a standard cabin. And I want to note that the other two are suites. And when we look at the pricing, they only discuss the pricing of a cabin. Okay, so keep that in mind. So the cabin sleeps four to five people. There's a queen bed, um, two bunk beds, and a wall pull-down bed, which will seat all or sleep all five people. Uh, the the lowest suite you can get is called the Galaxy Class Suite. It sleeps four people. You have a queen bed and two wall pull-down beds. Or you can get the Grand Captain Suite, which sleeps eight passengers. It's two queen beds, two bunk beds, and two wall-down uh, pull beds. So here are the stand uh, sample standard cabin rates. Cabin, not suite, cabin. And I may be wrong about this, um, but I'm pretty sure this is this is truly just the base model cabin rate. And even says here that the rates vary depending on your departure date, the number of guests in your cabin, um, and your cabin type. So keep that in mind. And there's also some lovely fine print down here that we're going to look at. So these are what some of the rates are. Notice it says four guests per cabin. And so this can be the cabin because remember the cabin you can fit five people in. Um, the important thing here is that these prices are per person per night. And then of course they have the, uh, the total cost for the two nights. But what I thought was really interesting, there's a couple of things that kind of give me a little bit of pause here. So the first one here is that these are for most weeknights between August 20th, 2022 and September 17th, 2022. Okay. So these are really, nobody's going to be paying these prices. I'm sorry. You know, if you think that these prices are high, you know, I'm thinking about cruise ships and, and how they kind of give you a price and then it's a totally different price. Um, you know, let's just look at this one. You know, that assumes three adults and one child for $7.49 per night. But again, it's a weeknight, so it's not a weekend. And what I don't understand is they're saying that this is going to start in the spring. So why are they not giving us the spring prices? Why are they giving us, you know, 
three, four, five months after it opens, what the prices will be. So that kind of causes me a little bit of pause here. But let's go ahead and take a look at the fine print. All right, so prices based on a cabin room. Again, not a suite, a cabin room. The number of packages available is limited. All packages are two-night experience. Package includes entry to Disney's Hollywood studio for one day on day two of your experience, which we will look at when we look at the itinerary. Mission to ticket expires at midnight prior to departure date and is non-upgradable, non-transferable, non-refundable. All right. So a lot of people are asking about food being included. So yes, meals are included, but it's not like... Um, it's not like you would think of like on a cruise where you can just go eat and whatever anytime. So you get two breakfasts, two lunches, and two dinner meals. And it says with gratuity included for dinners. So does that mean gratuity is not included for breakfast and lunch? Does that mean you not don't need to tip for breakfast and lunch? Are breakfast and lunch buffets and a dinner is a sit-down restaurant? I don't know. There's a lot of questions here. You also get one quick service meal consisting of one entree and either a non-alcoholic beverage or one alcoholic beverage if you are 21 or a combo meal from the children's offerings to be used in the theme park. So when you go to the Hollywood studios that one day, they do give you like a voucher to use for food. So we're going to go back up here and I want to take a look at the, where is it? Here it is, the sample itinerary. So this is what you're kind of looking at and every single day is just, you know, every 30 minutes, it's a lot of stuff going on. So you arrive at 1 PM and I'm not going to go through all these things because you can, you can clearly read it for yourself. Um, orientation, light refreshments, um, sabak lessons, a mustard drill, dinner, um, unexpected story moment, bridge training, um, we'll look at day two, you know, you get breakfast seven to eight. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking it's going to be buffet. Uh, you get a transport to about two and then star Wars rise of the resistance, eight 45 to nine 30 smugglers run lightsaber training, all kinds of stuff, cocktails, taste around the galaxy dinner, um, spectacular finale. And then you are leaving first thing the following morning. So up here, they do have some other things. So we can relax in this lounge. You do do the planet excursion to Batu, which is, you know, Hollywood Studios. You can take a look at the bridge and do some training on the bridge. Lightsaber training. So that's... That's pretty much where we're at. This looks like um, dinner as well. And they do also have, like, this was the highlights tab that brought me to the sample itinerary. So let's go to the dining as well. So here's some things for dinner. And it does say that you can um, indicate your preference, like I said before, for first or second dinner. And, uh, you know, basically think of like a cruise ship of when you want to be seated. Uh, but it does look pretty interesting. There's a supper club with special musical appearances. The second night, the taste around the galaxy. And it includes group appetizers, entree, and a dessert. And breakfast and lunch are available, but it doesn't really tell anything. I, it really does sound like it's kind of a quick service type buffet where you can pick what you want because it says during lunch choose from a collection of small bites like sandwiches soups mini flatbreads assorted salads and sweets and of course here dining during your planet excursion you can go to docking bay seven or other select locations and there you go so this was a pretty good overview um, like I said, they have announced the prices. There's no way the prices are even going to be that low. I think those are much lower than what people are actually going to pay for, for the experience. Uh, but time will tell. And once, you know, they actually start taking reservations, we'll be able to see a little bit more. So what do you think? Are you interested in going or not? Obviously the prices are, are super high, but I know that Disney put a lot, a lot of money into research and development of this. Um, 
yeah, let me know if this is something that you're planning on doing or not. And if so, maybe you, maybe we'll see you there. All right. Well, I hope you have a great rest of your day and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.